The sky darkens, the wind roars, and a monstrous tornado spins furiously across the landscape. In its path, a team of daring storm chasers is not just running from the storm, they're trying to stop it. But how do you tame a beast of nature? Hey everyone! Welcome back to Not So Techie. Have you ever wondered if we could actually control one of these massive twisters? Imagine being able to stop a tornado in its tracks. Sounds crazy, right? Today, we're diving headfirst into the wild world of tornadoes. We're checking if Hollywood got it right with the new movie, Twisters, or if they're just telling us a tall tale. Join us as we break down the science behind tornadoes, the tech storm chasers use, and how it all stacks up against what you see on the big screen. So, grab your popcorn and let's get started. Welcome to the world of Twisters, the new weather disaster movie that's been taking U.S. cinemas by storm since July 19th. This sequel to the 1996 classic Twister stars Daisy Edgar Jones as Kate, a storm chaser drawn back into the thrill of tornado tracking. Joined by Anthony Ramos' character, Javi, she leads a team determined to unlock the mysteries of these powerful natural forces. But this time, they're up against social media influencer Tyler, played by Glenn Powell and his adrenaline-fueled team of storm chasers. Just like in the first movie, the main characters in Twisters are determined to assist those affected by the devastating power of nature. In the 1996 film, Joe Harding, played by Helen Hunt, focused on gathering information for a better warning system. But in Twisters, Kate takes it a step further, hypothesizing ways to disrupt or even control tornadoes. But could that be possible? Real science versus movie magic. A meteorologist and a movie consultant work together to distinguish between real tornadoes and those shown in movies. Maria Molina, a meteorologist at the University of Maryland, and Kevin Kelleher, former director at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Global Systems Laboratory, recently talked about the scientific accuracy of the movie Twister during an interview with Science News. Kelleher served as a tornado consultant for the original Twister film, lending authenticity to its whirlwind adventure. Twister is a movie, so don't expect it to show weather events perfectly or scientifically accurately, since we don't know much about them. Kelleher reminds us that even after 30 years since the first tornado movie, we still don't fully understand how tornadoes form. We know rotation begins high up in the storm and descends, but the process remains largely mysterious. Molina said that, despite the film's dramatics, they did manage to sneak in some real science, and it's quite funny when they do. But how about stopping a tornado? In the movie, Kate's team tries to stop a tornado by using polyacrylate chemicals. They release the chemicals into the tornado to absorb the moisture that fuels the storm. Kelleher recognizes that this is the most unlikely plot twist in the film. It's quite the imaginative leap, but there's a sliver of truth. Certain types of polyacrylates are very absorbent polymers. They can absorb water that is up to 1,000 times their weight. In theory, Injecting a significant amount of polymer into the tornado's funnel could absorb moisture, leading the water to fall to the ground and potentially influencing the storm. But is it feasible? Kelleher says that it all depends on how large something is. It is hard to picture getting enough of this chemical in the storm to make a big difference. Naturally, a modified version of Kate's experiment in the third act saves the day, but the Twister's characters acknowledge that their research still needs improvement. Javi tells Kate that some people might doubt her accomplishments and claim that the tornado simply weakened or dissipated due to another extreme weather event. Molina commented that based on science, that's what she would personally recommend. I would say, you can't control a tornado to fully comprehend all of its dynamics. Technology and Storm Chasing In Twisters, Javi and his team use phased array radars, or PARs, to capture 3D models of tornadoes. They use three PARs to create a 3D model to better understand how tornadoes form. This enhanced understanding enables them to predict storm formation and dissipation more effectively. Maria Molina confirmed this is spot on with current field research methods. Three radars circle a supercell, providing a comprehensive view crucial for predicting storm behavior. Kelleher believed that twisters exaggerated the danger involved for dramatic effect. In the film, Javi's research team places radars close to the storm on the ground to collect accurate data. In reality, field radars are often larger than they seem in movies. This allows them to be placed farther away from storms while staying connected to the trucks. Firinados and Climate Change If you've watched the movie trailer, you might have been fascinated by the Firinado. But can such an event actually occur? 
In the movie, there is a quick appearance of a fire tornado, also known as a Firenado. Unlike the exaggerated Sharknado seen in TV movies, the Firenado is actually a plausible occurrence, according to Kelleher. Molina appreciated the inclusion of that specific item. There have been a significant number of fires in California in recent years. There were reports of a Firenado developing due to the intense heat. Kelleher also mentioned that wildfires can create their own thunderstorms that exhibit qualities similar to supercell thunderstorms. These storms contain a powerful, enduring updraft known as a mesocyclone, which can result in tornadoes. Although Twisters discusses extreme weather events, the term climate change is not mentioned. Kelleher clarified that the studio wanted to raise awareness about the dangers without being too preachy. Even the researchers are uncertain about what to expect in terms of tornadoes and their relationship to climate change. The possibility of an increase in tornadoes in the future due to changing climate conditions is uncertain. The issue is always a lack of information, but changes in tornado patterns over the years offer some insights. Kelleher said that Tornado Alley is getting bigger, including states like Arkansas, Mississippi, and Alabama. The tornadoes are becoming bigger and expanding eastward. Storm Chasers, then and now. Unlike the 1996 version, Twisters captures both the scientific and self-taught perspectives of a storm chaser. Kelleher said, thanks to mobile phones, anyone can now easily access radar data and obtain similar information as meteorologists. As a result, tornado chasing has become increasingly popular. Molina appreciated seeing many self-taught storm chasers in the field while working, but it is something that also raises concerns. Crowded roads and heavy traffic hinder researchers from setting up equipment or reaching their destination on time. However, the movie Storm Chasers were also dangerously close to storms. Molina discussed the risky driving behavior shown in the movie, as the main chaser groups compete to be the first to reach a storm. Kelleher warned that these powerful natural forces are extremely dangerous and should not be underestimated. Trying to drive into a tornado and thinking you can survive is not possible. While Twisters takes creative liberties, it highlights the enduring allure and danger of tornadoes. Remember, these forces of nature are not to be underestimated. Whether you're a storm chaser or a movie lover, Twisters offers an adrenaline-pumping adventure with a sprinkle of real science. But as always, Mother Nature remains unpredictable. And that's a wrap on Twisters and the end of our journey through the captivating world of tornadoes. We've explored the science, the fiction, and everything in between. If you enjoyed this deep dive into tornado territory, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Not So Techie for more exciting videos on the science and tech behind your favorite films. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.